good morning students today we are going to study chapter number 1.1 past present and future by emily bronte from bal bharti textbook of grade 7 first know that time is very essential i am saying a quote from the bible to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted so children you can understand how past present and future are very important now i will explain the poem stanza by stanza tell me tell me smiling child what the past is like to thee so the poet is asking the child this child is smiling so she asks the child what does the past mean to you the expresses you it is an archaic word so the child answers an autumn evening soft and mild with a wind that sighs mournfully i think all of us know that the autumn season is the fall season and it is very very gloomy very soft very mild and the wind is moving in sadness okay so here the line is personified the wind is given the quality of sighing again an autumn evening soft and mild so time is compared indirectly to an autumn evening okay so let's go to the second stanza tell me what is the present hour a green and flowery spray where a young bird sits gathering its power to mount and fly away now the child is being asked about the present it is indirectly compared to a spray of flowers that means a spray is a small branch that bears flowers here again it is metaphor now a little bird is perched on that spray and it is gathering the strength to fly away so it wants to fly away into the beautiful blue sky so the present is compared to a young bird about to fly away now children we'll go to the next stanza and what is the future happy one a sea beneath a cloudless sun i think all of us know that when we stand at the shore we can see the horizon and there the sea meets the sky we think there is nothing beyond that the sea beneath a clear sky a cloudless sun it means the sun is very bright in the clear blue sky a mighty glorious dazzling sea stretching into infinity so the sea is described as being huge powerful okay it is praiseworthy glorious and it is extremely beautiful so the child is awe stricken looking at the sea and this sea stretches endlessly children you must have understood the whole poem haven't you right now let me give you a small quotation from lord tennyson but the tender grace of a day that is dead will never come back to me it is very true i think all of us know that time has a particular hue take every day for instance the morning dawns it is time for the sunrise slowly the sun travels in the heaven it creates every time of the day at noon the sun above our heads is sweltering it is the most bright time of the day slowly the sun moves towards the horizon bringing dusk along the red hue slowly reaches into the night similarly nature colors the different season of the year creating a specific atmosphere and time hence the change of seasons spring summer autumn and winter similarly emily bronte has expressed the hues and color of the past present and future this must have given rise to the proverb time and tide wait for 
no one so now children i'll be reading the poem for you 1.1 past present future by emily bronte tell me tell me smiling child what the past is like to thee an autumn evening soft and mild with a wind that sighs mournfully tell me what is the present hour a green and flowery spray where a young bird sits gathering its power to mount and fly away and what is the future happy one a sea beneath a cloudless sun a mighty glorious dazzling sea stretching into infinity thank you